Welcome to ChronoZoom. This is Roland from the Earth and Planetary Science Department here at the University of California, Berkeley. I'm one of the co-inventors of ChronoZoom along with Walter Alvarez, a professor of geology here at Berkeley. In this video, I want to give a quick tour of ChronoZoom and just give an idea of how it's laid out. I won't go into the details of what the actual content is about. Walter will be joining me on a future episode to go through those. So without much further ado, let me give you a quick tour of what we're looking at here. So ChronoZoom is a timeline for all of time. What we're looking at over here is 13.7 billion years ago. That's what GA stands for. So we're going to go from essentially the Big Bang, the birth of time really, we're going to go all the way to the right toward the present. Now as we zoom in, we're going to get more and more detail. Right now we're looking at cosmic history, but we'll, of course as we get closer to human history, there's just more and more detail known. So from up here, you can drag around like this with your mouse, you can pan around, and I'm using a scroll wheel, a mouse with a scroll wheel here, so I can actually zoom in, you can zoom in here and see any, any of these little things here. Give a little moment, they will sharpen up, just zoom out like that. If you're not using a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can just double click anywhere, that will take you in as well, just like that. So I'll zoom back out. So this is all of cause of history. Uh, against our starry background here of the universe. And up here is our navigation controls. As I click on the, any one of them, it's, these are kind of shortcuts to the smaller and smaller time periods. So why don't we just focus up here really quick. So again, this will be the Big Bang, and then we're going to move toward the present. So that's all of cosmic history, 13.7 billion years long. And then up here, we in green, we see Earth history. So Earth and life history are about four and a half billion years. So you can see about a third of cosmic history here. Now these last two, human prehistory and human history, are enormously over-exaggerated in this uh, schematic up here. These are simply blocked out uh, at this size so that they are still clickable. Uh, but do know that since we're talking about this blue line here represents 13.7 billions of years, this green one represents about four and a half billion years. This little purple one is five million years, and the orange one is about 5,000 years. So definitely wouldn't be able to see 5,000 years on the scale of this blue bar up here, but they are represented here so that we can get to them. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click on Earth and Life History here. You can see it zoomed me all the way up here, up to the last five million years. The birth of our planet, Earth, is actually four and a half, so that's where all this content starts here. And if we zoom in here, you can see about 4.567, so uh, we're approximately there. But yeah, the first thing to notice is cosmic history, and then about a third of that is Earth history. So the Earth doesn't even come onto the scene until, until that point. And in ChronoZoom, all the content that we get more and more detailed is always up and, to up and toward the right. So if I zoom over here, I'm gonna try to do it slowly here. We're passing a bunch of really cool content here. But uh, let me see if we can get to human prehistory. That would be the last five million years. Yep, so here's a little box growing up. This is the last five million years. So Homo sapiens are just uh, the latest of our human evolution. That's what we're seeing right here. Let me zoom up, up to here. Sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. Here we go. Here's Homo sapiens. Okay, we're just the most recent step, but there's Lucy and Artie, uh, more recently discovered by Tim White here at Berkeley. So again, here are the last five million years, but to get to human civilization, we'll have to go down even farther. So as I go down here, you'll see the next box blowing up here. And finally, we're at the last 5,000 years. So now we've decided to do it on Egypt here, so let me zoom down here. You can see when the, uh, the famous Great Pyramids were constructed. There we go. We can zoom in as close as we want to those. Zoom back out for now. But this box here is the last 5,000 years. And uh, let, me, let me go down to more familiar dates to us. Here's the second millennium AD, and we'll go down to the 20th century here. And we are in the 10th decade. Ah, here's some more familiar dates. There's the year 2000, along with all the months in the year 2000, and finally the days of December. We chose to go as far as December 31st of the year 2000. So this Happy New Year here is uh, representing the moment 
with the year 2001 as it comes into place as the ball drops. But let me zoom out here slowly. Keep your eye on this. There's the Times Square disappearing. Year 2000, 10th decade, the 20th century, in the second millennium AD. And I'm going to keep zooming out, so watch as all of humanity, all of the last 5,000 years, disappears. There it goes, falling away, and it's gone. Replaced with the last about 5 million years, so Homo sapiens, and then all our other ancestors, but Go ahead and keep your eye on Homo sapiens here. We'll watch that disappear as we approach Earth history. So all of the time that Earth has been around in this big box, you can barely see anything, any trace of human prehistory there. And finally, I'll zoom out one more time to see all of cosmic history. So that's a quick look at the layout of Carnazoom. We're going to be making a lot more videos to explain all what all this great content is in here. But thanks for taking a quick look, and do try it out for yourself at carnazimtimescale.org. Thanks.